Hello you fine people, it's Jamie Green once again from the Off The Couch program. Uh, today's topic, we're week number five now, today's topic is one of my faves. It's letting people know that control is not such a terrible thing. Being a control freak I think is highly undervalued and underrated. I just always let people know there's a caveat and that is that we tend to try to control the things we got no business controlling i.e. anything outside of ourselves and all the other people and trying to manipulate the way they see us and think about us and feel about us and all that kind of stuff respond to us and where we should have absolute total mastery is over controlling our own thoughts feelings and actions but that's of course it, it, be honest that's not really what happens is it we tend to control others and completely relinquish control over ourselves now here's the question I posed this week and that is what's the opposite of control it's trust that's right where your control freak is showing where you absolutely do not know how to surrender and trust. Now, I'm not assuming that trust is an easy thing. It isn't. One needs to know a formula for trust. I actually created a formula for trust, and there are three components to trust. And that is this. Imagine this mathematical equation. Trust equals experience times consistency over time. Here are the three components. Experience. What do I mean? Well, it has to be one's own personal experience of someone before we trust them. As a therapist or a life coach, you know, I get people constantly referred to me who say, my best friend recommended me, I know you're going to help me, they think you're amazing, which I appreciate. But I also let the new referral know, but yeah, but you don't know me personally yet, and I don't know you. You could be a complete flake, and I could be a lunatic. So let's get to know each other, and then it'll be your own experience, as it will be for me. That's the first component. The other, I think it was probably the most important for trust, is consistency. Being dependable and reliable and consistent all the time. Always courteous. Always accountable. Always committed. Always show up when you say you're going to show up. Always keep agreements. And we're not perfect. Remember, we can't control the traffic. We can't control the tornadoes. But we can certainly call ahead and let someone know we're running through and it's late. We do at least the courtesy part. So the consistency crucial. And then time. You can't know someone in three weeks. You can't. It takes time. Especially, it takes time to demonstrate consistency. So, we talked a lot about this formula and how to apply it. Now, what I say to people, and I want you all watching this to, to consider it yourself, how do you rate on the trust scale using this equation for yourself? Are you consistent? Are you trustworthy? Are you dependable? Are you reliable? You know, constantly, all the time? So, I want you to take a, a good hard look at yourselves this week and look at where you tend to be overly controlling don't worry about it it's fine make sure you're not focusing on other people and take control over yourself your own projections all the stuff we've talked about your own expectations take your control over that and learn to trust and surrender what it looks like to be consistent and be that trustworthy person for others you're going to have no problem in your relationships We'll be back next week. In the meantime, please make note, we have finally moved to jamiegreen.com. I've stepped up to the .com world from jamiegreen.la, so it's now www.jamiegreen.com. See you next week.